supervisors, you face challenges every day as part of your responsibility for managing and coaching those who work for you. One of the responsibilities of supervisors, and often one of the toughest to handle, is having difficult conversations with employees. These can involve work performance issues, addressing conflicts in the workplace, personal issues, even dealing properly with layoffs and terminations. It is critical to handle these situations in a tactful, appropriate, and productive manner. This video series, Conquering Difficult Conversations, is designed to give supervisors the confidence to meet these challenging situations proactively and to address them in an objective manner. It's an employee who consistently dresses inappropriately, someone allowing family issues to affect his or her work, or perhaps it's a personal hygiene issue. In this video, titled Dealing with Personal Issues, you will see several dramatized scenarios, first done in an inappropriate manner, then in a more acceptable manner. First, let's hear what people in industry have to say about this issue. We all bring our personal lives into our work. It's inevitable that there are going to be discussions uh, amongst coworkers and between supervisors and employees about things that are happening in one's, in one's personal life. Um, if an employee appears to be troubled uh, and their performance is falling off and you suspect or you hear through the grapevine that there may be problems, uh, it is certainly appropriate to have a private, and again, don't walk up to their desk in a public area, ask to speak to them privately and say, I've noticed that your performance uh, has, has fallen off, that you're, uh, you seem to not be sleeping. Um, if there's an issue, I, if, if you'd like to talk about it, you know, I'm not obligating you to, but I'm, I'm, concerned, I'm concerned about you from a, from a performance standpoint. What can we do to help? And if you think that you already know the answer to that and you have an EAP program, you may want to have that material uh, ready to make, to make an appropriate referral. Um, I don't think you want to get into all of the uh, details of what the problem is, but it is certainly um, not inappropriate to make the general inquiry, I see that there's a problem with you. Um, how can we help? Every possible issue and problem out there you can think about has potential of interfering with an employee's performance. Uh, whether it's uh, family issues, marital issues, addiction issues, um, financial issues, um, they all can have a, a detrimental role in a person's performance at work. You never let personal issues modify how you manage in terms of discipline procedures, meeting expectations. I, I think a supervisor's uh, role uh, in terms of um, uh, personal issues is not to uh, be diagnosing what is going on with an employee because that is not the area of expertise or the area of um, focus for a supervisor. Um, uh, the, and, and therefore, it is very important that the supervisor focus on uh, what is going on from a performance standpoint and really uh, be open to having some dialogue with the employee rather than try and put them in a box that I, I'm quite sure this is what's going on because this is what I heard through the grapevine or because I am convinced that uh, the, some of the behaviors uh, must mean uh, that they have a problem with alcohol rather than looking at what truly is going on and, and gaining an understanding by engaging once again the employee who can say that's not at all the case, here's what is, is, are the real facts. In this scenario, an employee, Kate, has called in sick several times recently. 
It's time for Mark, the supervisor, to address this issue with her. Mark, where's Kate? Well, she called in sick. Again? You know, she's done that quite a bit lately. She's also been coming in late and leaving early. And we've had to stay and do some of her work. Yeah, I know. She's been taking a lot of time off lately. I'll talk to her. Kate. Oh, hi, Mark. Is everything okay? Yeah, why? Well, you called in sick again on Friday. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry about that. I... I have some things going on, a family issue, and I need to deal with it. I'm sorry, but it's really important. Listen, Kate, you know you can't let personal issues affect your work. This has happened repeatedly. So here's the deal. No more days off, no more excuses. You take care of your family matters on your own time, okay? But... In what ways did Mark handle this situation inappropriately? Welcome back. Now let's look at how Mark could have handled the same situation with Kate. Mark, where's Kate? Well, she called in sick. Again? You know, she's done that quite a bit lately. She's also been coming in late and leaving early. And we've had to stay and do some of her work. Okay. Thanks for the information. Kate. Oh, hi, Mark. Hi. Uh, can I see you in my office? Sure. Right now? Yeah, please. Okay. Kate, you've been calling in sick a lot lately, and I've been made aware that you've been coming in late and leaving early, too. We need to talk about this. First, our attendance policy clearly states the proper way to report and use sick time, and you're not following those steps. Second, this business keeps regular hours, and you are expected to be here during that time. Instead, you've been coming in late in the mornings and then leaving early. And third, your work is beginning to suffer. This pattern of behavior is affecting others. They're having to stay late just to get your work done. Kate, is there a problem? Is something we can help you with? Um, yeah, I... It's okay. Talk to me. It, it, it's, it's my mom. She has cancer. I've been taking her to her chemotherapy sessions. They're usually early in the morning, but sometimes she feels so sick afterward that I need to stay with her. I've also been taking her to her doctor's appointment during the week. And Kate, I am so, so sorry to hear about your mother. I, I can't imagine what you're going through. You know, we should get HR involved in this because this conversation might qualify as a request for leave and it may be covered by FMLA. What's that? Oh, it's the Family and Medical Leave Act and under certain circumstances you can get time off to handle matters like this. That would be a huge help, Mark. I'll talk to HR to set up a meeting with you. Okay. Thanks a lot. So I met with HR today. They said I might be able to take some time off to be with my mom. They also said I might be able to work a flexible schedule. They're looking into the details and I'm waiting to hear back from them. Well, that's great. If FMLA is approved, I'll need to know when you need off so I can work out a schedule, okay? No problem. I'll stop by as soon as I have the details. Thanks a lot for your help with this. Have a good night. What was right in how this situation was handled? 